we've come to Buckingham Palace in highly unusual circumstances. Normally, we'd be discussing your work, your duty. We'll come on to that. But today, you've chosen to speak out for the first time. Why have you decided to talk now? Because uh, there is no good time to talk about um, Mr Epstein and um, all things associated. Um, and uh, um, we've been talking uh, to Newsnight for about six months about doing something around the work that I was doing. Um, and unfortunately, we've just not been able to um, fit it into either your schedule or my schedule um, until uh, now. And actually, it's a very good opportunity. And I'm delighted to be able to see you today. As you say, all of this goes back to your friendship with Jeffrey Epstein. Mm. How did you first become friends? How did you meet? Well, I met through his girlfriend um, back in 1999, who, um, and I'd known her since uh, she was at university uh, in the UK. Um, and it would be, to some extent, a stretch to say that, that um, uh, as it were, we were close friends. I mean, we were friends because of other people. Um, and I had a lot of opportunity to um, uh, go to the United States um, but I didn't have much time with him. I suppose I saw him once or twice a year, perhaps maybe maximum of three times a year. And um, quite often, if I was in the United States and doing things, it, and if he wasn't there, he would say, well, why don't you come and use my houses? So I said, that's very kind. Thank you very much indeed. Um, but it would be, it would be um, a, a, a considerable stretch to say that he was a very, very close friend. But he had the most extraordinary... Um, ability to bring um, uh, extraordinary people together uh, and that's the bit that I remember is going to the dinner parties where you would meet academics politicians people from the United Nations I mean it was a it was a it was a cosmopolitan group of what I would describe as as US um, eminence but was that his appeal then was yeah. that what you because you you were perceived by the public as being the party prince was that something well, you I shared? Think that's um, also um, a bit of a stretch. Um, I don't know why I've, I've, I've um, uh, collected that title because I don't, I, I never have really parted. Um, uh, I was single for quite a long time um, in the early 80s. Um, uh, but then after I got married, I was um, very happy. Um, and and, and I've, I've never really felt the need to go and party and certainly going to um, Jeffrey's was not about partying, absolutely not. You said you weren't very good friends, but would you describe him as a good friend? Did you trust him? Uh, uh, yes, I think I probably did. But uh, again, um, I, mean, I don't go into um, a friendship looking for the wrong thing, if you understand what I mean. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an engaging person. I want to be able to engage. I want to find out. I want to learn. Um, and so uh, you have to remember that I was transitioning out of the Navy at the time. Um, and in the transition, uh, I wanted to, to find out more about what was going on. Because in the Navy, um, it's a pretty isolated business because you're out at sea the whole time. Um, and I was going to become the Special Representative for International Trade and Investment. So I wanted to know more about what was going on in the international business world. And so that was another reason for going there. And the opportunities that I had to go to Wall Street and other places to learn uh, whilst I was there were, were absolutely vital. He was your guest as well. In 2000, Epstein was a guest at Windsor Castle and at Sandringham. He was brought right into the heart yes, of the but, royal family at your but, invitation. But uh, certainly at my invitation, not at the royal family's invitation, but remember that it was his girlfriend that was the key element in this. He was the, as it were, plus one to some extent in, 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 that, in that aspect. Am I right in thinking you, you threw a, a birthday party um, for Epstein's girlfriend, Galen Maxwell, at Sandringham? No, it was a shooting weekend. A shooting weekend. Just a straightforward, straightforward shooting weekend. 
But during these times that he was a guest at Windsor Castle at Sandringham, uh, the shooting weekend, yep, yeah, yeah. we now know that he was and had been procuring young girls for sex trafficking. We now know that. At the time, there was no indication to me or anybody else that that was what he was doing. And certainly, when I saw him either in the United States, well, no, when I saw him in the United States, or when I was staying in his houses in the United States, there was no indication, absolutely no indication. And if there was, you have to remember that at the time, um, I was patron of the NSPCC's Full Stop campaign, so I was close up with what was going on in those um, uh, time about getting rid of abuse to, to children. So I knew what, was, what, the, what the things were to look for, but I never saw them. So you would have made that connection because you stayed with him, you were a visitor, a guest on many occasions at his homes, mm. and nothing, nothing struck you as suspicious? No. Nothing. During that whole time? Nothing. Just for the record, you've been on his private plane? Yes. You've been to stay on his private island? Yes. You've stayed at his home in Palm Beach? Yes. You visited Gellin Maxwell's house in Belgravia in London? Yes. So, in 2006, in May, an arrest warrant was issued for Epstein for sexual assault of a minor. Yes. In July, he was invited to Windsor Castle to your daughter, Princess Beatrice's 18th birthday. Why would you do that? Because I was asking Gellin. But even so, at the time, I don't think I... Um, certainly, I wasn't aware when the invitation was issued what was going on in the United States. And I wasn't aware until, until the media picked up on it, because he never said anything about it. He never discussed no, with you the fact that, it. that an arrest warrant had been issued? No. So he came to that party knowing police were investigating him? Well, I'm not quite sure whether it was it police that were... I don't know. You see, this is the problem. It was the Palm really Beach police at the time. But, I mean, I'm afraid, you see, this is the problem, is that an awful lot of this was going on in the United States, and I wasn't a party to it, and I knew nothing about it. In 2008, he was convicted of yep. soliciting and procuring a minor for prostitution. He was jailed. This yes. was your friend. How yes. did you feel about it? Well, I ceased contact with him after uh, I was aware that he was... Um, under investigation, and that was later on in, in 2006. And I wasn't in touch with him again until 2010. So um, I just, uh, just it was one of those things that if somebody's going through that sort of thing. Well, I'm terribly sorry, I can't be. Um, so no contact. No contact. Uh, when when he was serving time, there was no, no. call, no letter, no. nothing no. there. No. He was released in July. Within months. By December of 2010, you went to stay with him at his New York mansion. Why? Why were you staying with a convicted sex offender? Right. I have always, uh, ever since this has happened, and since this has become, um, as it were, public knowledge that I was there, I've questioned myself as to why did I go, um, what was I doing, and was it the right thing to do? Now, I went there with the sole purpose of saying to him that because he had been convicted, it was n inappropriate for us to be seen together. And I had a number of people counsel me in both directions, either to go and see him or not to go and see him. And I took the judgment call that because this was um, serious um, and uh, I felt that Doing it over the telephone was the chicken's way of doing it. I had to go and see him and talk to him. Um, and I went to see him, uh, and I was doing a number of other things in New York at the time, um, and we had an opportunity to go for a walk in the park, and that was the conversation, um, coincidentally, that was photographed, which was when I said to him, I said, look, because of what has happened, I don't think it is appropriate that we should remain in contact. And by mutual agreement during that walk in the park, 
we decided that we would part company and I left, I think it was the next day. And to this day, I never had any contact with him from that day forward. What did he say when you told him that you were breaking up the friendship? He was what I would describe as understanding. Um, he didn't go into any great depth um, in the conversation about what I was doing or what he was doing, um, except to say that 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 uh, uh, he'd accepted a, whatever it was a plea bargain. He'd served his time, um, and uh, he was carrying on with his life. She would mean, and I said yes, but I'm afraid to say that. That that, that 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 that's as may be, um, but with all the attendant scrutiny on me, then I don't think it is a wise thing to do. Who advised you then that it was a good idea to go and break up the friendship? W did that come from the palace? Was no, Her Majesty no, 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 the no, Queen no, involved? No, 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 no. That came from. So there were a number of people who who. Uh, so, so some people from um, my staff, some people from um, uh, friends and family. I was talking to. And I took the decision that it was, I had to show leadership and I had to go and see him and I had to tell him, that's it. That was December of 2010. Yep. He threw a party to he celebrate his release and you were invited as no, the guest go. of honour. Oh, in 2010, that there wasn't, certainly wasn't a, a, a party to celebrate his release in December, because it was a small dinner party, there were only eight or ten of us, I think, at the, at the, at the dinner. If there, was, if there was a party, then I'd know nothing about that. You were invited to that dinner as a guest of honour? Well, I was there, so there was a dinner. I don't think it was quite as, as you might put it, but yeah, okay, I was, there for a, <laughs> I was there at a dinner, yeah. I'm just trying to work this out, because you said you went to break up the relationship, and yet you stayed at that New York mansion several days. I'm wondering how yeah, long... But I was doing a number of other things while I was there. But you were staying at the house of yes. a convicted sex offender. It was a convenient place to stay. There is, I mean, I mean, I've gone through this in my mind so many times. At the end of the day, um, uh, uh, with the benefit of all the hindsight that one could have, um, it was definitely the wrong thing to do. Um, but at the time, I felt it was the it was the honourable and right thing to do. And I, I admit fully that, 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 that my judgment was probably coloured by my um, tendency to be too honourable, but that's just the way it is. Because during that time, those, those few days, witnesses say they saw many young girls coming and going at the time. There is video footage of Epstein accompanied by young girls, and you were there staying in his house, catching up with friends. I never, I mean, if they were, then um, I wasn't a party to any of that. I never saw them. I mean, you have to, you have to understand that, 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 that his house, I, I described it more as a, as, a, as, a, as a, almost as a railway station, if you know what I mean, in the sense that there were people coming in and out of that house all the time. Um, what they were doing and why they were there, I had nothing to do with. So I, I'm afraid I, I can't make any comment on that because I, I, I really don't know. Uh, another guest was John Brockman, uh, the literary agent. Now, he described really? seeing you there getting a foot massage from a young Russian woman. Did that happen? No. You're absolutely sure or yeah, you can't remember? Absolutely sure. So John Brockman's statement is false? Well, I wouldn't I wouldn't, I don't know Mr. Brockman, so I don't know what he's talking about. But that definitely wasn't you getting a foot massage from a Russian girl in Jeffrey Epstein's house. No. It might seem a funny way to break off a friendship, a four day house party of sorts with a dinner. It's an odd way to break it's up a friendship. It's a difficult way of putting it. That, that's a very um, a stark way of putting it. Yes, you're absolutely right. Um, but actually the, the the, the truth of it is, is, that, is that I actually only saw him for about, what, the, part, the, the dinner party, the walk in the park, and probably passing um, in the passage. So let's go to that Central Park walk, yeah, which was snapped. Yeah. Friends of yours suggest that Epstein 
wanted that photo taken. Perhaps he'd even set it up. Do you worry that you were being played? Again, uh, new information is coming out um, uh, since his suicide um, has made us reappraise that uh, walk in the park. We can't find any evidence, uh, or my staff and my people and I can't find any evidence to suggest that that was what he was doing. I mean, you can look at it in so many different ways. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is, is that uh, somebody very cleverly took that photograph. It wasn't um, as far as I, I remember, nor do my security people remember anybody being present or close um, because there were enough security around. I mean, there were photographs of the security people are, in the, are, are, are around in the photo. So I, I, I mean, I <laughs> he could have done, he could have done, but I... I, I <laughs> Yeah. I, I guess what I'm asking is, do you feel that you were part of Epstein's public rehabilitation? Oh, no. Funny enough, I don't. No. I mean, if, 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 he was, if he was doing... If that photograph was taken for that, with that purpose in mind, then it doesn't, it doesn't equate to what actually happened. So why wouldn't you announce this, this breakup when you got back? Why wouldn't you publicly explain what you'd done? Did, did you worry that he had something that could compromise you? No. No. Do you regret that trip? Yes. Do you regret the whole friendship with Epstein? Um, uh, now, uh, still not. And the reason being is that, that the, the people that I met um, and the opportunities that I was given to learn, um, either by him or because of him, were actually very useful. He himself, um, n not as it were as close as you might think, we're not, we're, we, weren't, we weren't that close, so therefore, I mean, yes, I would go and stay in his house, but that was because of his girlfriend, not because of him. Was that visit, December of 2010, the only time you saw him after he was convicted? Yes. Did you yeah. see him or speak no. to him again? No, no that was that Never funny enough, 2010 then. was it. That was it, because I went, well, first of all, I, 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 I wanted to make sure that, that um, if I was going to go and see him, I had to make sure that, 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 that there was enough time between his release, because I, it wasn't, something that I was going into in a hurry, but I had to go and see him. I had to go and see him. And I had stay to stay with him and stay in the house. I could easily have gone and him. stayed somewhere else, but the but sheer convenience of, of, of being able to get a hold of the man is, was, was, I mean, he's, he, was, he was in and out all over the place. So getting him in one place for a, a, a period of time to actually have a, a, a long enough conversation to say, look, these are the reasons why I'm not going to. And that happened on the walk. July of this year, Epstein was arrested on charges of sex trafficking and abusing mm -hmm. dozens of underage girls. Mm -hmm. One of Epstein's accusers, Virginia Roberts, yeah. has made allegations against you. She says she met you in 2001. She says she dined with you, danced with you at Tramp Nightclub in London. She went on to have sex with you in a house in Belgravia belonging to Gerlen Maxwell, your friend. Your response? I have no recollection of ever meeting this lady. None whatsoever. You don't remember meeting her? No. She says she met you in 2001. She dined with you. She danced with you. Mm -hmm. You bought her drinks. Mm -hmm. You were in Tramp nightclub in London. Mm -hmm. And she went on to have sex with you in a house in Belgravia belonging to Gerlaine Maxwell. Didn't happen. Do you remember her? No. I, I, I have no recollection of ever meeting her. Um, I, I'm almost, in fact, I'm convinced um, that I was never in tramps with her. There are a number of things that are wrong with that story. One of which is that, is that I don't know where the bar is in, in um, tramps. Um, uh, I don't drink. Um, I, I don't think I've ever bought a drink in Tramp uh, whenever I was there. 
Do you remember dancing at Tramp? No. That couldn't have happened because the date that is being suggested, I was at home with the children. You know that you were at home with the children. Mm. Was it a memorable night? On that particular day that, that, that um, uh, uh, we now understand is the date, which is the 10th of March, uh, I was at home. Uh, I was with the children. I'd taken Beatrice to uh, a Pizza Express in Woking for a party at, a, I suppose, sort of four or five in the afternoon. Um, and then because the Duchess was away, we have a simple rule in the, in the, in the family that, 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 that when one's away, the other one's there. I was on terminal leave at the time um, from the, the Royal Navy, so therefore I was at home. Why would you remember that so specifically? Why would you remember a, a Pizza Express birthday and being at home? Because going to Pizza Express in Woking is an unusual thing for me to do. A very unusual thing for me to do. I've never been, I've only been through Woking a couple of times um, and I remember it weirdly distinctly. As soon as somebody reminded me of it, I went, oh yes, I remember that. But so I have no recollection of ever meeting or, or being in the company or the presence. So you're absolutely sure that you're at home on the 10th of March. Yeah. She was very specific about that night. Mm -hmm. She described dancing with you no. and you profusely sweating <laughs> and that she went on to have bath, there's a, there's possibly... A, there's a slight problem with, 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 with the sweating um, because uh, I, I have a peculiar medical condition which is that I don't sweat um, or I didn't sweat at the time and that was... Oh, actually, yes. I didn't sweat at the time because I... Um, ha had suffered what I would describe as an overdose of adrenaline in the Falklands War when I was shot at, uh, and I simply, it, it, was, it, was, it was almost impossible for me to, to, to sweat. And it's only because I have done a number of things in, in the recent past that I'm starting to be able to do that again. So I'm afraid to say that, 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 that there's a medical condition that says that I didn't do it, so therefore. Is it possible that you met Virginia Roberts, dined with her, danced with her in Tramp, had sex with her on another date? No. Do you remember meeting her at all? No. Do you know you didn't meet her or do you just not remember no, meeting her? No, I have, I, I, I don't know if I've met her, but no, I, I have no recollection of meeting her. Because she was very specific. She described the dance that you had together in Tramp. She described meeting you. She was a 17 year old girl meeting a senior member of the royal family? Never happened. She provided a photo of yes. the two of you together. Yes. Your arm was around her waist. Yes. You've seen the photo. I've seen the photograph. How do you explain that? I can't. Because I don't, I have no, I, again, I have absolutely no memory of that photograph ever being taken. Do you recognize yourself in oh, the photo? Oh yeah, it's pretty difficult not to recognize yourself. Your friend suggested that the photo is fake. I think it's uh, from the investigations that we've done, you can't prove whether or not that photograph is uh, faked or not because it is a photograph of a photograph of a photograph. So it's very difficult to be able to, to, um, to, to prove it. But I, I don't remember that photograph ever being taken. But it's possible that it was you with your oh, arm that's me, but, but whether that's my hand or whether that's um, the position, I, I, but I don't, I have simply no recollection of a photograph ever being taken. The world has now seen the photo that yep. Virginia Roberts provided, taken by Epstein, we understand, in Ghislaine Maxwell's house. Well, here's the problem. I've never seen Epstein with a camera in my life. I think it was Virginia Roberts' camera. She said a little Kodak one that she lent to Epstein. He took a photo and your arm well, is round her listen, waist. I don't remember, I don't remember uh, that photograph ever being taken. I don't remember going upstairs uh, in the house because that photograph is taken upstairs. Um, and I'm not entirely convinced that, I mean, that is, that is what I would describe as as, as me in, in, that, in that picture, but I can't, we can't be certain as to whether or not that's my hand on, on, on her 
uh, whatever it is, left, left side. You think that... Because I, I have no recollection of that photograph ever being taken. So why would somebody have put in another hand? You think it is you next to her in the photo? Oh, it's definitely me. I mean, that's, a, that's a picture of me. It's not a picture of... I don't believe it's a picture of me in London, because when I go out, to, when I go out in London, I wear a suit and a tie. That's what I would describe as those are my travelling clothes if I'm going to go, if I'm going overseas. So there's a, there's a, I've got a, plenty of photographs of me dressed in, 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 in those sorts of, that just, sort of kit, but not there. Just to clarify, so you think that photo has been faked? Nobody can prove uh, whether or not it, um, that, it, that photograph has been doctored, but I don't recollect that photograph ever being taken. And you don't recollect having your hand no. round her waist no. in Gurlaine Maxwell's house no. on any occasion, even if it was a different date? I'm terribly date. sorry, but if I, as a member of the royal family, and I have a photograph taken, and I take very, very few photographs, I am not one to, um, as it were, hug and um, public displays of affection are not something that, that I do. So I, 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 that, that's the best explanation I can give you. And, then, and I'm afraid to say that, that, that I don't believe that photograph was taken in the way that has been suggested. Why would people not believe that you were there? I, I'm sorry, why would... I'm just trying to understand. There's a photo inside Galen Maxwell's house. Galen herself is in the background. Why would people not believe that you were there with her that night? Um, well, they might well wish to, wish to believe it, but the, there's a, the, the, the photograph is taken upstairs, and I don't think I ever went upstairs um, uh, in Galen's house. We you were sure of that? Yeah, because the because the because the dining room and everything was on the was on the was on the ground floor. It was in, it was as you came in the as you came in the hall. So I don't remember ever going up there. I'm at a loss to explain this particular photograph. Um, if the if the original was ever produced, then perhaps we might be able to solve it. But, but I can't. you you can say categorically that you don't recall meeting Virginia Roberts. Dining with her, yep. dancing with her at Tramp, yep. or going on to have sex with her yes. in a bedroom in a house in Belgravia. I, I can absolutely categorically tell you it never happened. Do you recall any kind of sexual contact with Virginia Roberts none, then none, or any other time? None whatsoever. Because she said in a legal deposition, mm -hmm. a legal court document in 2015, she had sex with you three times. Yeah. She is... Not confused about this. She said the first was in London when she was trafficked to you. The second was at Epstein's mansion in New York. And that uh, is a date in April, I believe. Is that correct? She said it was a month or so later. Yeah. Well, I think that the date that we have uh, for that uh, 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 shows that I was in uh, Boston, uh, or I was in New York, um, the previous day, and I was at a dinner for the Outward Bound Trust uh, in New York, and then I flew up to Boston the following day. And then on the day that she says that this, this occurred, she, they'd already left in, uh, to go to the island before I got back from Boston. So it, it, I don't think that could have happened at all. There was a witness there, Johanna Stolberg, who says that you did visit the house in that month. I probably did. I don't think I, on, on one of the weird things I was staying with the um, uh, because of the, the, what I was doing. I was staying with the consul general, which is further down the street uh, on, on on fifth. So I wasn't I wasn't staying there. I may have visited, but I, but but no, definitely but didn't. Definitely definitely no 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 activity. Because in a legal deposition, 2015, she said she had sex with you three times. Once in a London house when she was trafficked to you in Maxwell's house. Yes. Once in New York a month or so later at Epstein's mansion. And once on his private island in a group of seven or eight other girls. No. No to all of it? All of it. Absolutely no 
to all of it. Why would she be saying those things? We wonder exactly the same, but I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. She made these claims in a US deposition. Mm -hmm. Are you saying you don't believe her, she's lying? That's a very difficult thing to um, answer because I'm not in a position to know um, uh, what, what she's trying to um, uh, achieve, but, but I can tell you categorically, I don't remember meeting her at all. I do not remember a photograph being taken. And I've said consistently and, um, and frequently that we never had any sort of sexual contact, whatever. She spoke about you outside the court in August of this year. Mm -hmm. She said, I quote, he knows exactly what he's done and I hope he comes clean about it. And the answer what is nothing. So if Virginia Roberts is watching this interview, what is your message to her? I don't have a message for her because I have to have a thick skin. If somebody's going to make those sorts of, of allegations, then I've just got to have a thick skin and get on with it. But they never happened. For the record, is there any way you could have had sex with that young woman or any young woman trafficked by Jeffrey Epstein in any of his residences? No. Um, and, and, and without putting too fine a point on it, if you're a man, it is a positive act to have sex with somebody. You have to have to take some sort of positive action. And so therefore, if you try to forget, it's very difficult to try and forget positive action. And I do not remember anything. I can't have racked my brain and thinking, oh, well, when the first allegations, when the allegations came out originally, I went, well, that's a bit strange, I don't remember this. And then I've been through it and through it and through it over and over and over again. And no, nothing, doesn't, uh, never happened. Epstein's housekeeper, also in a Florida court legal deposition, said that you visited the Palm Beach residence around four times a year. You got a daily massage. Four times a year? That was what he said in a Florida court legal deposition. No. I'm just wondering, when you look back now, is there a chance that those massages might have been the services of someone who was being sexually exploited or trafficked by Epstein? Mm, no. I don't think, I mean, I, I, no, definitely not. Definitely not. And I definitely did not visit uh, his Palm Beach house three or four times a year. Absolutely not. How many times would you say you visited? Uh, in total, probably four times in total throughout the, the, the time that I knew him. Um, in fact, uh, pro probably that was the, that was the place that, 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 if you see what I mean, he, he was in the house more, more there than, than, than in, mm. other, in mm. other places that I was So I, that's where you'd at. find him? Um, but it was usually because I was going, I was going through and on somewhere else. So it was a, it was a day. It was, it was that was it. You said in your statement from the palace, yep. at no time did I see, witness, or suspect any suspicious behaviour. Yep. Yep. Virginia Roberts' legal team says you could not spend time around Epstein and not know what was going on. You could not spend time around Epstein and not know what was going on? If you are um, somebody uh, like me, then people behave in a subtly different way. Um, you wouldn't, uh, first of all, I'm not looking for it. That's the thing. You see, if you're looking for it, then you might have suspected now with the benefit of a huge amount of hindsight and a huge amount of analysis. 
you look back and you go, well, was that really the way that it was or was, it, was I looking at it the wrong way? But you don't go into these places, you don't go to stay with people looking for, for, for that. You could but not then, spend time around him. That was what they said. You could not spend time around him and not know. Look, uh, the other aspect of this is that, is that, that um, I live in, a, in, in, in an institution um, at Buckingham Palace, which has members of staff walking around all the time. And I don't wish to appear grand, but there were a lot of people who were walking around Jeffrey Epstein's house. As far as I was aware, they were staff. They were people that were working for him or doing things. I, as it were, I interacted with them, if you want to say good morning, good afternoon, but I didn't if you see what I mean, interact with them in a way that was, you know, what are you doing here, why are you here, what's going on? But you'd notice if there were hundreds of underage girls in Buckingham oh, Palace, God. wouldn't you? But, you'd under, you but, but sorry, you would notice if there were hundreds of underage girls in Geoffrey's house. Wasn't there. Not when I was there. Now, he may have changed his behaviour patterns in order for um, uh, that not to be obvious to me. So, so I don't, I mean, I, I, this is, you're asking me to speculate on things that I just don't know about. You seem utterly convinced you're telling the truth. Would you be willing to testify or give a statement under oath if you were asked? Well, I'm like everybody else, I'm, 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 uh, and, and I would have to take um, all the legal advice um, that there was before I was to, to do that sort of, of thing. But uh, if Bush came to shove and the legal... <coughs> the legal advice was to do so, then I would be duty bound to do so. Because you've said there are many unanswered questions, yep. everyone affected wants closure, you would help to provide that closure? If there was, if in the, in the right circumstances, yes, I would, because I think there's just as much um, closure for me as there is for everybody else. Um, and, and, and undoubtedly, some very strange and unpleasant activities have been going on, I'm afraid to say that I'm not the person who can shed light on it for, for a number of reasons. One of which is that I wasn't there long enough. Um, I mean, if you go in for a day, two days at a time, uh, it's quite easy, I'm led to believe, for those sorts of people to hide their activities for that period of time and then carry on when you're not there. Virginia Roberts, lawyers, legal teams, say that they've asked for a legal statement from you. There is an active FBI investigation now. W would you be willing to provide that? Again, I, I'm, I'm bound by what um, my legal advices, um, um, uh, legal advisers tell me. Epstein was found dead. Yep. In prison. Yes. In August of this year. Yep. What was your response on hearing that he'd died? Shock. Some people think that he didn't take his own life. Well, there again, I'm not one to be able to answer that question. Um, it, I believe that centres around something to do with a bone in his neck um, as to whether or not if you commit suicide that bone breaks or something. Um, but I'm afraid to say I'm not an expert. Um, I have to take what the um, uh, coroner says and he has ruled that it was suicide so he's dead his girlfriend galen maxwell your old friend yep. was victim say complicit in his behavior well that bit i can't help you with because i've no idea do you think that she has questions to answer about her role in this well in the same way that i have questions to answer in the sense of what was what was i doing um, and as I say, that, that, that I was there to, to my mind, be honourable and say to him, look, you've been convicted. Um, it would be incompatible for me to be seen with you. Unfortunately, somebody was standing around with a camera at the time and got a photograph of us. Uh, it's one of the very few photographs there are of us, but that was, that was the case. Um, if there are questions that Ghislaine has to answer, that's her um, problem. I'm afraid I'm, I'm, I'm not in a position to be able to comment one way or the other. When was your last contact with her? 
Uh, it was earlier this year, funnily enough, in the, in the summer, in the spring, summer. About what? Uh, she was here um, doing some rally. So even though he had by then been arrested and was facing charges of no, sex trafficking? No, 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 no. This was, this was early spring, I think. It was long, because when was he arrested? July. No, it was before July. And that was the last time? Yeah, yeah. Because Did you I, discuss Epstein at all then? No, no. Actually, funnily enough, no, not at all. There wasn't anything to discuss about him because he wasn't in the news. It wasn't, it, you know, it was just, we'd moved on. I um, want to talk about moving on now. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, okay. Epstein is dead. Yes. The women are now being heard. Quite rightly. How do you move on from this? Uh, well, <laughs> it's an interesting way of putting it. Um, uh, I'm, I'm carrying on with what I do. Um, I um, have a number of things that I have been uh, doing since 2011. Um, uh, they're pretty well organised, pretty successful, and so I'm, I'm carrying on and, and trying to improve those, those things that I'm, that I'm already doing. I wonder what effect all this has had on your close family. You've got daughters of your own. It has been what I would describe as a constant sore in the family. Um, we all knew him. Um, and I think that if we have a conversation about it, it's, we're all left with the same thing of what on earth happened? Well, how did, how did he get to where he was? What did he do? How did he do it? Um, and so, it's it's just a constant sort of gnaw. I mean, this this first came out in 2011, and um, it was a surprise to um, uh, to all of us um, because the photographs were published at a separate time to when I was there, and there was sort of a question about what was going on. And as a family, we discussed it, and then in 2015, when um, the allegations were made in the deposition. Uh, there was a sort of, uh, there was a sort of, a, 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 the, in, it, this is the immediate family, not, not the wider family. The wider family couldn't be more supportive. Um, but the immediate family, it was, well, what's all this about? And we all just, we're, we're at a loss. So it's just. Has the episode been damaging to the royal family, to Her Majesty the Queen? I don't believe it's been damaging to uh, the Queen at all. Has to me, um, um, uh, and, and it's it's been a constant uh, drip, if you see what I mean, in the in the in the uh, in, in the background that um, people want to want to know. If I was in a position to be able to answer all these questions in a, in a way that gave sensible answers other than the ones that I've given that, that gave closure, that I'd love it, but I'm afraid I can't. I'm just not, not in a position to do so because I'm just as much in the dark as many people. How do you reconnect with the public then now? Uh, exactly what I'm doing, which is to use um, and to uh, continue to work with pitch. Uh, to continue to work with idea and the things that I, I, I believe strongly in. I'm not somebody who does things in competition with people. Oddly, I do things in collaboration with people. So I want people to, 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 to work together to come to, uh, as it were, a solution to a, to a bigger problem. And so I've got a number of people working together, particularly in the education field, particularly in, in, uh, and also in, 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 in areas of... Um, of government and what they are doing so that we're bringing everybody together so that we're all pushing in the same direction. An idea now does that. We've been going properly now for two years. We've got three and a half million people who've got a badge. We've got half a million uh, or just over half a million young people who are using the, the, the service um, and I'm trying to think what else we've got, but, but it's, it's <laughs> well, it's designed for seven to 14 year olds in the United Kingdom. And it turns out it's done from five to 95 around the world. So we're, it's being done in a hundred countries now. So we're, we're slightly on the catch up for this one. I know we have to bring this to a no, close because we're sorry, running sorry. out of time. Uh, you've faced questions today on a very, very raw subject. There has never been an interview 
like this before. I wonder what that tells us about the way the royal family now confronts these difficult situations. Has there been a sea change? I think that the, 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 the problem um, that I'm, uh, we face in the 21st century is um, social media. There is a whole range of um, things that y you, you face now that you didn't face 25 years ago because it was just the print media. Um, and I think that, that, that to some extent there is a uh, there is a thick skin that you have to have. Um, and again, I'm not a confrontationalist myself. Um, I, I would prefer to be able to, uh, as it were, resolve things in a way that is sensible. Um, and so choosing to, uh, as it were, get out there and talk about these things it's almost, it's almost a mental health issue to some extent for me, in the sense that it's been nagging at my mind for a, a great many years. I know that I made the wrong judgment and I made the wrong decision, uh, but I made the wrong decision and the wrong judgment, I believe fundamentally for the right reasons, which is to say to somebody, I'm not going to see you again. And in fact, from, two th from that day forth, I was never in contact with him. Um, the subsequent allegations are what I would describe as surprising, shocking, um, and a distraction. Um, but that's, I mean, there are all sorts of things that are on the internet and, and, and out there in the public domain that we just sort of go, well, yeah, but I'm afraid this is, um, it just never happened. You've talked about a thick skin. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you have any sense now of guilt, regret or shame about any of your behaviour and your friendship with Epstein. As far as Mr Epstein is concerned, it was the wrong decision to go and see him in 2010. As far as uh, my f um, association with him was concerned, it had um, uh, some seriously beneficial um, outcomes in areas that have nothing or bear, have nothing to do with, with, with what I would describe as what we're talking about today. On balance, could I have avoided ever meeting him? Um, probably not. Um, and that's because of my friendship with Ghislaine. It was, it was, it was inevitable that, that, that we would have come across each other. Um, do I regret the fact that, that, that he has quite obviously conducted himself in a manner unbecoming, yes. Unbecoming, he was a sex offender. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm being polite, um, in the sense that he was a sex offender. But no, um, uh, was I right in, in, in having him as a friend um, at the time? And bearing in mind this was some years before he was accused of being um, a, a sex offender. Um, uh, I, I don't think there was anything wrong then the problem was the fact that once he had been convicted, you stayed with him. I stayed with him, and that's 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 the bit that that that, that um, as it were, I kick myself for on a daily basis because it was not something that was becoming of a member of the royal family. And we try and uphold the um, highest standards of and practices, and I let the side down. Simple as that. This interview has been exceptionally rare. You might not speak on this subject again. Is there anything you feel has been left unsaid that you would like to say now? No, I don't think so. I think you've probably dragged out most of, the, most of what is required and, and um, I'm truly grateful for the opportunity of, that you've given me to, um, to be able to um, discuss this with you. Your Royal Highness, thank you. Thank you very much indeed.